Well, as part of the Naturally Nutritious Project, we're targeting a number of specific uh, fruit and vegetables and nuts to increase their nutrient density. The reason we want to do that is so that uh, people can get more bang for their buck, more nutrition for what they put in their mouth. Specifically with the Naturally Nutritious Project, what we're trying to do is to link this increase in nutrition with something like a visual cue. And quite often, the nutrient that we're trying to increase is actually the visual pigment in the product. One of those is purple sweet corn. And uh, I've got a sort of an example here. You can see that, yes, it's visually differentiated. There's a big difference between your traditional yellow corn and a purple corn. And this corn comes from Peru. And what we've done is we've actually had to convert it into a sweet corn because if you ate the maize you'd basically break your teeth on it. It's starchy and it's not sweet so we had to do a conversion there which was a little bit tricky and we did it through natural conventional breeding and we managed to do it. Hort Innovation is the principal funding body for horticultural research in Australia. As the university, we, we work as a, on the research side of things. Fabian also helps us because Fabian's on one of our steering committees to, to point us in the right direction and we can throw ideas at Fabian as well and, and Mulgawi as uh, actual practical farmers. So that's, that's a terrific combination. I'm really, really excited for the horticultural industry and the, the world is our oyster for, for what we can potentially do. We just have to put our minds together with the know-how and what, what consumers really want. And they've got a real interest these days. Things are changing.